Hey, welcome to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West, and this is a power verse for the day for the 13th of January, 2022. And uh, we're going to look at Psalm 90, verse 17. One verse, a power verse for the day. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me thumbs up, make comments, hit the bell so you know every time I roll one of these out, you get one every day. And... Uh, Share this with someone else. It could be very meaningful to them and helpful to them. God led Israel out of Egypt to take the promised land. Now, their grumbling and disobedience led to 40 years in the wilderness and the death of all the adults except Joshua and Caleb. So why did God lead them into the promised land to begin with? Well, to, be, to have freedom, and then to have a land to live in and work in to provide for them. Basic to life on the planet as created by God was for people to work. For what reason? To provide for themselves and their families. Not the government. We're supposed to provide for ourselves. In the city of Thessalonica, uh, some believers got the idea that they, they could rest and take help from the Christian community and just not work. Put it on cruise, you know, just hang out, visit with people, and don't do any work. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 10, the Apostle Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, addresses that. He said, for even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. If a man will not work, he shall not eat. See, if a person can work, his job is to work. If he can't, we take care of him. But he, if he can work, his job is to work. God designed us to work. Uh, and I had a job when I was 15 years old. I'm 73, still have a job, plan on continuing to have a job. I work. That's what you're supposed to do on the planet. Psalm 90 is a prayer of Moses, the man of God. And if you look at the, the last verse, it's verse 17. That's what we're going to read. Psalm 90, verse 17. Just listen to what he says. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. He's asking for the favor of God to rest upon us, meaning the people of God rest on God's people, for what purpose? Notice that Moses is asking for the favor of God to rest on his people to establish the work of their hands. Then Moses affirms it a second time. Yes, establish the work of, your, of our hands. He's asking for God's favor to rest on God's people to establish their work. Had you considered the favor of God resting on you to establish your work, whatever it might be. That's what Moses is asking for. That's what Moses is asking God to do. Whether you drive a truck, work construction, work in information technology, teach school, pastor church, or a homemaker, give, maybe you're a nurse, work in sales, operate a tow truck, no matter what you do, a proper prayer would be to ask for God's favor to rest on you to establish the work of your hands. Get God involved in whatever you do for work by way of prayer. Ask him to bless your work. In prayer, start seeking God's favor over your work. That's a good idea for today. Hope it's a blessing to you. I will see you tomorrow.